Greetings, dear viewers! I'm Coil Quick Card, and welcome back to Backpack Hero. I have just, for the first time, reached the end of a run, which is going to let me access uh, a deeper area. So, I'm pretty excited about that. I've got... Let's do 10 gold for max HP. I have a very interesting bill uh, with a few items that you haven't seen before. Uh, this challenge run is using this little ice cream. Uh, on my first turn, I get one energy, but my max energy increases by one every turn. The real secret to my build, though, is this thing. The Archangel Armor. Uh, adjacent helmets get plus one block, which is huge. Adjacent footwear gets minus one, so not using any footwear. Uh, so every turn, that's adding two block, that's adding five, that's adding five, that's adding four. But the big thing here is every turn, I'm getting two haste. And every point of haste increases the armor that I am getting. And then this thing, when it kills an enemy, I get three haste. My wooden sword is doing 10 damage a hit, and I can boost it up with a whetstone. My run is going so damn good. Um, treasures, 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 treasures. Uh, none of those I particularly want to take. But I also get to see the parcel guy for the first time. I take items to and from Haversack Hills. So, very specifically, um, I want him to take the patrol etching, uh, these random consumables that I'm sitting on. Honestly, I am starting every turn with... Yeah, I'm starting every turn with eight, every combat with 18 armor. I think he can take the shield, honestly. I'm doing damn good. So, I could go to the Enchanted Swamp or the Deep Cave. Uh, I haven't been to either of these places, but Deep Cave is the one that I unlock. Oh. Yep, okay. That's right, the key to the deep caves doesn't take up an inventory slot. Okay, we're going to the deep cave, part one of three. First time I've seen any of this, I'm really excited. Let's see, you will get a dodge next turn. Uh, you're going to throw out some slime. So, hares, nimbler than badgers and stronger than rabbits. They are ideal crossbowmen in the king's army. I guess I'm going to stab you once. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're fine with the slime. So... I have to deal a certain amount of damage to him to stop him from acting, which I can't do. No, I could. He, he only has one dodge. Okay. Alright, so he's stuck. I get two more slime. That's fine, because I'm going to have the energy to get rid of the slime. Uh, one, two, three hits. You're dead. I still have not taken any damage this combat. So I can easily just use that and... Interesting, it looks like energy is hard capped at a max of three. Is that the case? Uh, definitely looks like it. You're dead. I level up. I like the look of that. 
Let's see what kind of items I can get. Uh, I want a key. I've never actually used one of these damn keys. Oh. Alright, let's swap out the shoe hat for the leather hat. Just because it's an extra point of block. Um... Honestly, the rest of this is just basic projectiles. What are you? Are you like a glitch in the matrix? The wall splits open. Inside, you can see a vast abyss. Green eyes peer in. You recognize them as the eyes of a predator. Strange sounds echo from the place, and an offer is made. Take a rare item for a curse. I I gotta do it. Two items appear in front of you, but a horrible curse has been placed upon you. The eyes show no sign of emotion. So I have to take this. When an adjacent item is used, disable for one turn. That's not... Oh. Oh, well, we can just rotate it, and then the only thing it will disable is the Mask of Pride, which is fine. Uh, a spiked scale, that doesn't work, and I already have Archangel Armor. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I, I can survive that. What I need now is a way to get rid of that? Uh, hold on. When an adjacent item is used, disabled for one turn, is that saying it disables the axe or disables the item? Must be placed on an item on use and removes 100% of all status effects on self. Items this is placed on are destroyed. Well, alright. We're just gonna get rid of our curse. I. Okay, that's the boss we're going up against. I don't know what it is. Uh, but we're getting rid of this. Okay. Uh, you're going to steal gold and then escape. So, my first priority should be to get rid of you. I think I'm going to take a little damage this turn. But my numbers are just going to keep going up. Boom. I just got three more haste. Holy crap, this guy. Um... Okay, I, I can actually do this. We drink to heal. I throw the projectile. He dodges. I throw the throwing star, which hits. One sword stops his big attack. I take a little bit of damage this next turn, but I'm going to be fine overall. Alright, we need... Yeah, we need more haste. Let's get a little more damage on you, since you're not blocked. That'll be most efficient. You get more dodge. Stab, 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 stab. I have 12 haste. I have 63 armor. I gained 63 armor this turn. Uh, a poison whetstone... One poison self, weapons in this row get plus three poison this combat. Holy crap, that is good. The weak reduces damage when attacking. I mean, the flower is pretty good. This is for combat. So, I'm going to run the Poison Whetstone. Take another warm drink. 
Uh, there are a few researches which specifically call for club, but that's the limit of items I can take for now. Just a valuables, what do you got? Uh, key, liquid armor... Don't actually need any of that. Ooh, an enemy here! The Rep Executioner. Rep Executioner? These lizards are known for their legendary fighting ability. You're going to hit me for 18 damage. And give yourself four spikes. That is legitimately impressive. I'm going to use my poison whetstone. Okay. Uh, now I am able to survive all of your attacks. With the spikes damage, actually is breaking through my armor. This is not as ideal as I had anticipated. I just need this guy to die as quickly as possible. Uh, he dies next turn to poison. Uh, I could take that broken ring. I think I'd rather just sit on it. That was a heck of a fight. Uh, we got a bow blade. Nothing specifically requires a bow blade. Hmm. Holy crap. Dueling sword is strong. Uh, yeah, we're taking that and I'm taking that. And how about a toxic kunai? Here's some gold. Here's some XP. Merchant, what do you have for me? That's new. On take damage adds one dodge to self. Ooh. Ooh, that's... That's kind of crazy. Um... I've been dumb to not reorganize my inventory. Now this is giving six damage per turn. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, hold on. I can get another helmet. Uh... Okay, I put this here. I reorganize these items here. I could sell the empty mug. I think I'm good with that. All right. Next floor. And my resources just keep on climbing. Deep Cave Part 2. A living shadow. All right. Whoa. Shadow Factor. Copies your action, attack, or defend. Ooh, interesting. I just started this with 21 armor. Like, that's kind of insane. And we're going to start with the Poison Whetstone. Do a little bit of damage to you. Yeah, they're going to hit for 20 damage and it's not going to get through. Alright, we hit one. We hit two. You're going to die. 
Uh, six damage at the end of turn. That's my turn, right? Like, that is going to... Yeah, it is going to kill him. Go for the shiv. Okay. Alright, let's start stabbing this guy. Let's get a little more poison on my items. 26 damage coming toward me, and I block all of it. Alright, let's... You get 30 experience for defeating that. Just in case it does something sneaky where it leaves or disappears when, like everything else is dead. I'm gonna focus on killing it. I want that 30 experience. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. It dies next turn. Beautiful. 30 experience. They cannot break my armor. Helmet. Increases the damage of wands. Oh. Um. Okay. I think I need to reorganize this like that. So that way, the poison whetstone can affect all of these things. I don't really think there's any better way to optimize. And I am one experience point away from leveling up anyway. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, this guy's got lifesteal. There is a lot of damage coming out of me right now. Um. We're going to go for the flower for the extra haste. And porcupines are usually friendly creatures. Something horrible must have happened to her. These bats don't drink. Why? Yeah, we. How much could I potentially hit for? It would be six times eight for. All right, I can't actually kill her this turn. But I can get... Uh, but all of those actions are free. So I think I'm better off just using the Poison Whetstone to get started. Okay. Oof. Okay, so how how can I do this? What is the best way to do this? I have 66 armor right now. That's going to poison. That's going to poison. Then we start stab and we stab that's poison okay all right here's the malediction uh when your turn ends replace with a malediction on use adds two poison to yourself but then is destroyed okay all right we're gonna stab 
and Shiv, which makes you die to the poison. So we can get two hits off on the bats. And call it good. So now I have... I've, I've got to get this guy down. I, I need him dead very quickly now. I took a lot of damage. But I also leveled up. So I can get three more inventory slots. Let's go... For that, that, and... That. Um, each turn add one spikes. Engine wand, we don't need. Honestly, I don't even need these arrows, but I've got the space for them. Is there anyone who specifically needs dynamite? Eh, screw it. We're taking it anyway. Gold... A uh, double halberd, a rocket. On use, moves forward until stopped. When destroyed, when this finishes, when this moves, a permanent plus ten damage. Okay, so it just keeps moving. The evil hand is cursed. I don't want that. Honestly, I can pass on all of that stuff. What do you have? You have a mace. Uh, we can get rid of that arrow. Go for a mace. I think... It might... No, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I have here. Um... Hmm... You currently have one cursed item, so they'll follow you until you cleanse them. What... what do I have that's cursed? I don't have anything that's cursed, do I? Alright, enough of that. Just focus. Okay, they're putting out 22 damage. Let's... throw the kunai. Let's do the poison whetstone, use the shiv. Okay. I take a teensy bit of damage this turn. Oh god. Yeah, we we have to stop you. Your damage output is way too high. And, frankly, between the two of you... Well, you're a pretty big threat to my... ...power, but I'm still doing okay. You die next turn. Uh, you almost die next turn. I can get a little bit of poison out on you. And now I am past the point where they are no longer capable of breaking through my armor. So, stab, 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 stab. Uh, that's cursed. 
Vampiric Blade. Ooh. <laughs> Ugh. Let's get rid of that and let's take the Vampiric Blade. I really need to start... Um... Oh god, and that'll heal me too when I... No, when adjacent item kills a non-summon enemy. Okay, well... That doesn't have to be adjacent in order to function. Alright, so I can top myself off then. Go for the heal. Okay, we have a living shadow. There's a hermit crab bomb. So, let's just start with the healing. Okay. This still attacks for 10. I am constantly forgetting to use my shiv. So you're going to try to run next turn, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Okay. So... I can kill you. And that still gives me just enough energy to kill that. And now we're up against the shadow. And it doesn't look like the shadow actually tries to run away. So, we can go Poison, Whetstone, Shiv, and Wooden Sword, Wooden Sword, Wooden Sword. I take one damage from Poison, but I am now completely beyond his ability to hurt. This guy could shell out a hundred damage, and it would not stop me. And that's a good for another 30 experience. Hmm. Honestly, none of that really seems necessary. Oh, hey, it's Pochette again. This time I'm going to kick your butt. Are you sure you don't want to come to Haversack Hill? Never. All you surface dwellers are the same. You come in here, wreck everything, and steal our stuff. Just last week, some of your long-eared warriors came and burned down Blinky's village. Long-eared warriors? That sounds like Kingsguard. You got it wrong. I hate those guys. I'm asking you to help me stop them. Lies! Well, you, my sweet pochette, are about to have a real bad time. Because, quite frankly, I don't care how many minions you have, they're not going to break through my defenses. Although... Slow reduces their armor, right? Yeah. Um... Well, we can go with the whetstone. Yeah, we're we're just gonna take the damage. I'm not I'm not in a bad position as far as my armor goes anymore. I did though take damage, so the mask of pride disabled everything in this row. Well now you've got 19 stacks of poison. 36 armor. I am now completely beyond your ability to hurt. I think I will go for Vampiric, though, just to... Actually, let's go with the Poison Whetstone for even more stacks of poison. Uh, a couple stabs just to heal myself. 
Boom. I'm back at 45. And now you've got 39 stacks of poison. Okay, summoned enemies don't give any experience. It had occurred to me that I had never actually checked that. I had merely assumed it. Yeah, so you die this turn. Let's see if I can't also... kill some of your friends. Explode and boom. That went just as poorly as the first time. We don't have to keep fighting. We can work together. Come back to town and we can patch you up. I'd rather eat escargot. I'm not sure I know what that is, but I'll put you down as maybe later. That was a fun fight. Alright. Next one. I have nearly made my way through the deep caves. Oh crap, we got two of these guys. Oh, that's that's actually going to be a serious problem. Crap, they're gonna put out massive hits on me. I can stop one of them, but that's still 38 damage. That is going to break through my armor, and it's going to disable all of these items. So I'll be at 3 energy this turn, and unable to use my shiv. I think I just gotta kill this one. Um, that's good for a little bit of heal. Let's go for another turn of Whetstone. Okay. That's fine. We hit you with Shiv. And we stab you, and we stab you. And then two turns for little bits of heal. You die to poison. Okay. Good. And... Oh, Vampiric. Vampiric actually has to break. Okay. It actually has to break the armor to get the heal. Alright. Understood. That makes sense. Let's go shield. Let's go there. And... Nice. I am back to full health. What do you have? Anything interesting? A roof. I mean, there were definitely things that wanted structure blocks. Uh, now that I'm fully healed again, do I want the vampire blade? I can go without it. Since we're basically right near the end anyway. Let's go this way. Five experience. Nice. Merchant, are you selling anything I absolutely have to take? Not really. Okay. Up to the third floor. And even more passive income. A new boss on a new type of on a new part of the dungeon. 17 damage this turn, completely negated. Let's go with the good old standby. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to kill you. Ah, it's an evil Montoya. I killed his father. Okay. <laughs> the teddy bear sword. 
Okay, um, you're not getting through my armor again. I think it's worth investing in a poison whetstone every turn. Just so I can put out a crap load of damage on this guy as quickly as possible. Boom. And stab, stab. You're already at 40 stacks of poison. Poison, whetstone, shiv. Yeah, this is adding 12 poison every time it hits you. Have 30 more, 36 more stacks of poison. Yeah, uh, you die next turn, I don't have to do a thing. Win. And I think that's the end of the run. Oh, right, crap. Uh, stuff to take. Okay, well, I don't need... I mean, these leather caps are basically worthless at this point. There we go. A completely full inventory of cool stuff to take back to Haversack Hill. That was such a good run. Great job bringing so much back. The people of Ordaria thank you. There's still more areas to unlock. Do you have Lost Sparks for me? I do. Um, I have several Lost Sparks. You have conquered the crypt several times. I'm impressed. Back when I carried a backpack, I sometimes explored there too. But I also knew another path. When you first enter the dungeon, be alert. There is another way that avoids the crypts. Oh, cool. Animals have long explored the ominous crypts that stretch beneath Ordaria, but a new path through the Bramble beckons to those who are strong enough. You can instead travel through the Bramble. Oh my god, there's so much cool stuff. Thank you for using Parcels Delivery Service. The items that I brought back were already stored in your inventory. If you open your backpack in town, you should see them with everything else you brought back too. Also, as a loyal customer, you've earned a reward. A pouch! Oh my god, a pouch that I can put things in. Oh god, free storage. Yes, thank you, dear god, Parcel. Thanks for trusting Parcel's delivery service with your goods. Okay, so immediately off the bat, um, I can already build the magical mycelium. And, uh, how much do I need for the tavern? 125? Oh, I'm so close to 125. I can definitely get a handful more food for that. Um, why don't I sell... Oh, right, the cornucopia and the cheese, of course. They literally have no purpose but to be sold. Which means that the tavern can now be built. Which still leaves me enough material to build another house. Oh, that is so perfect. That is so perfect. Okay. Um, I, I think... I think I would like to put all of my research buildings in one area. Well, your research, your research... You are not research, but you are research. The blacksmith is passive income. Uh, that's a research. Um... I mean, we can do the little ice cream. 
Okay. So, you technically research as well? So, why don't we put that here? So, all of that is research. Move all of these commercial decorations here. You are passive income. This will help me at least keep things straight. Uh, but now with a population of 47, I can finally take out the very last pieces of rubble in the world leaving a perfectly pristine map. So, let's check out the researches first. Uh, there's... Yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff that I can research. Tavern researches consumables... Interesting. That's a lot of stuff. Let's try... Hold on, where... Where's the blacksmith? No, blacksmith is also a research building. Okay. So, what, what should I invest in here? Uh, a shield, because I was able to bring back this random shield. There was a really specific request for an uncommon helmet. Uh, a rare weapon. We can do that. A leather cap. We can do that. So anything that I actually can fill up um, has that partially filled selection in it. So nothing there. A consumable. Yeah, sure. Take take this real crappy consumable. Uh, an accessory. Why? Uh, why don't we take this pretty anklet? Sure. Those ones specifically require potions. Magical mycelium. We have a lost spark we can invest. Uh, a weapon. Sure, take a shiv. The Fletcher... We can invest a structure. We can also invest arrows here and there. So, sure, have an arrow. And, whoops. No, I, I want to check out the barracks. So, I can invest... First of all, we have a wooden sword. We have an uncommon accessory, which unlocks the Berserker's Club. I mean, sooner or later, I'm going to unlock literally everything. I really liked the idea of this dueling sword, so we're going to invest the resources to get it. And I don't know what this snake thing is, but I like it. Okay. So there's actually some research that wants me to come back with cursed items. Interesting. This game is so fascinating. Just 
going out and, and bringing things back, uh, I can fill up a consumable... I think that's about all I can do. Sure, surely someone can appreciate, uh, like, some of the stuff that I brought back. Uh, armor uncommon. I uh, sure. The rest I can sell. Small key. Archangel armor. Leather cap. That. Okay. Sell them. Uh, where's the librarian lady? There you go. Yes, I actually have this patrol etching. Long have we suffered under King. Our friends and family forced to explore the dungeon. To fill the coffers of some self-important beast. No more, people of Oakshire. Today we fight back. Thank you. And we got a new costume. So, I, I still don't know what this is for. Come on. Ah, okay, these were new unlocks. Ooh, wooden knife. That's pretty cool, honestly. Now, I did... S okay, you... You're, you're gonna have to move. Okay, we're gonna move you there. So, I saw someone got a new red exclamation mark, so... Oh, I'm so impressed! Another hero! It's, like, so great to meet you! Well, thanks! It's nice to be here! Did you beat up, like, a million rattles? And we're supposed to celebrate it? Pfft. So lame. I, I find that offensive. You're very, very rude. Okay. Oh, right, the bounty board. The bounty board also has things to unlock. Um... I mean, I've got plenty more quests, though, right now. So... Not really any reason to go crazy about it, but... Uh, I think next I'm gonna do Master of Whetstones, but... Uh, that's a pretty good run for today. And I will see you all on the next one. Row owned column.